Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Today we're going to take a look at this patio. Uh, we have basically a dining uh, space here, and we have a uh, structure up above, and um, let's just dive in here. So, whoops. Um, actually, the customer um, was inquiring about a different section over here as well, so I built that up a little bit. Uh, this section over here is not to scale, but this side over here uh, pretty much is, and I think this is pretty close to what the customer's images were. So let's look at the uh, the dimensions here. So essentially, we got uh, 14 feet this way, 16 feet, and about 10 feet tall up to the bottom edge of the uh, uh, beams going across. I know there's some lattice work on top of there as well. Um, over here, you can see that uh, we have a drop down a little bit. I have a nine foot 10 to the bottom edge of these beams going across. Um, I show this, I am just made the, the beam nine inches tall, these 10 inches, but this is more important here for the proper dimension so that we can see that this uh, heater will physically fit kind of like I have it and it won't come down further. Um, <clears throat> if that beam say six inches, this will be a little bit lower than what you're seeing here so I mean it's actually below that line right now but it'll be a little bit lower depending on what that beam size is. Uh, this width here is about 10 feet 6. It's just a guesstimate um, 3 foot uh, countertop here and um, so that's uh, pretty much it. Bar stool seating over here and this is dining seating over here so um, the seating height is a little bit different, so you want to kind of adjust for that. And um, let's go ahead and turn off those dimensions and look at uh, what kind of array we'll get. Over here I have uh, three units. Now we could eliminate this one unit. Um, I just kind of wanted the flow to look proper as far as the uh, amount of equipment in the patio, but I essentially have this one centered and then um, the other two just off of that one, two, three, four beams, and one, two, three, four beams here. So you see, you got a nice uh, crossover array between the two or between the three heaters. <clears throat> Over here, you have a um, large enough coverage. You know, we're not covering over here, and we're not actually covering over the uh, perimeter edges here, but this whole range here. So if you had a uh, larger um, dining event you might put another table out here and still be able to um, cover that section now over here I know the customer just was inquiring about this uh, so possibly nothing will go over here but this is a uh, we could either put a 3000 or 4000 watt here um, but if you put a 4000 watt here it might be a little bit too hot in some uh, instances so you might want to have a control system on there and um, like a good salesman I am I'm gonna throw this heater over here for the guy that's doing the barbecue cooking that's not necessary but it's the same clearances as this so the clearance here <clears throat> excuse me six inches there six inches above same over there and I have sorry this one over here is 18 inches from this edge so we're not uh, heating up that wood in any way and of course this over here I didn't mention I think is just centered off of this beam um, the total length of this beam so it's probably um, out this edge a little bit further than um, than this edge you can see the coverage is a little bit less on that side than this side and that's pretty much it um, here you might want to also have like a uh, maybe a two zone you can have this one heater um, functioning on one switch and then the outside edges functioning on the other switch so that way if it's just a small you know I'm gonna have a breakfast out here in the morning you can just turn the one unit on something of that nature I like the slim these are slimline 4,000 watts up here I like those because they mimic uh, you know the, the beam dimensions basically a, a square beam and it kind of looks nice that way we have six inches of clearance above and there's no uh, obtrusion on the uh, sides here so I'm not worried about that but I lined them up with the beams this that way it just kind of follows that whole line pattern 
and um, I think it looks pretty good that way. Um, so that's what I have. I hope this helps you out. Uh, if you have some questions or are looking for some uh, help in your outdoor heating application, feel free to give us a call. I'm Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Thank you and have a great day.